So welcome again uh, to Pali. Uh, nice to see you again after 20 years uh, since the first time we met uh, when it was uh, the project of uh, Ecover. <laughs> but uh, let's come back to that. But first, the question uh, I have is: uh, What advice would you give to a CEO of today who would like to walk the talk of sustainability? In order to get to sustainability, we really have to change the business model. In order to change the business model, we have to get away from this core business, core competence uh, line of thought. I mean, for, for 60 years, we have been training MBAs to search for the cash flow and uh, improve cash flow by having ever better economies of scale. And therefore, we needed to reduce the marginal costs. And in order to further go on that path, we went to mergers and acquisitions and indebted ourselves into more standardized products all the time. So I think we, in order to be sustainable, we have to realize that it's not possible to only rely on core business and core competence. And we need to embrace innovations of the business model, not just the change of technology and change of a product. We need to change the product, the process and the system. And so in order to think through what are the best systems that we could uh, put up, we have to go back to science. And in science, I believe that we have to search for inspiration first and foremost in the laws of physics. The laws of physics are extremely predictable. Water that is warm always expands. Uh, well, there is an exception there when it's below four degrees as well, but that's the only one. Uh, when, when hot air uh, expands, it always goes up. The law of gravity makes things fall down from the tree. I mean, things are very predictable. So if business wants to have innovations based on predictable results, it's going to have to embrace physics. In the past, we have looked for the fast solutions using chemistry. And now we're stuck with 100,000 molecules we have no idea what to do with. So I do not want to have green molecules. I just want to have the natural systems evolve to the best of their capabilities. And we have also relied lately too much on biology. But biology, well, everything in biology is an exception because everything changes all the time in biology because nature is on a path of evolution. And so therefore, if we want to have predictable results, that's what business is about. You don't want to take risks. If you want to have predictable results with a core business, you end up with GMOs. You will genetically modify things because otherwise things change all the time. So that is why we're saying, get out of your core business, core competence. Start thinking like an ecosystem. Cascade nutrients uh, and energy and matter. Secure that whatever was your waste that is never fitting in your supply chain management. Whatever was as an externality to your supply chain management, make certain someone else can generate value out of it. And I think when CEOs are prepared to drop the core business, core competence, sustainability based on massive innovations will have an enormous opportunity for everyone who wants to be competitive in the world. So, but uh, if we look back uh, 20 years uh, and uh, when we talked about Ecover, uh, your first uh, one of the products you put on the market, then wh wh what is the lesson uh, since 20 years? I think Ecover taught me that as business persons uh, and as consumers, we can get very excited about what seems to be an obvious green product. But we have so often unintended consequences. So when we introduced uh, a formula that was based on biodegradable ingredients, but unfortunately they were from palm oil. And the demand for palm oil started destroying the rainforest and destroyed the habitat of the ragutang. So how could I ever have a green product with uh, the orangutan's habitat being destroyed. And I think it's because we were not making connections. What I've learned from that and other experiences is we have to make the connection. We have to think through. We cannot permit unintended consequences. How can I have a biodegradable plastic that competes with food with people in Latin America? It's not possible. You can't have a plastic that competes with food. It's food that's the priority. But since we have all too often wanted quick results on the sustainability, we forgot that biodegradation has nothing to see with sustainability. Actually, a lot of the things that are biodegradable are highly toxic as well, or highly polluting, not sustainable at all. But 
we don't get it quite as well. And so what I've been trying to learn is be inspired by people like Erna Ness, Arna Ness, or being inspired by the thinking of people like Fritz of Capra. And, and, and their deep thinking around this allowed me to reconnect with that web of life that's right out of there. So uh, when you look at the future views now, are you an optimist or a pessimist of uh, a change of business behaving on the market? I don't believe that the present big business will change fundamentally. I mean, when we have a dirty battery, we'll make a green battery. But a green battery still depends on mining and smelting. And most of these batteries still don't get recycled. So, hey, what, what's the use of doing green battery? Let's invent something that needs no battery. And I believe that when we are talking to young people, children, they'll get inspired by the idea that, what do you mean I can have my MP3 player, your video player, we can have everything functioning without batteries? Yes, it can. And is it possible today? Yes, it is. Now, and I can show it. And I think that is where many people will get excited about. Kai, we are in need of people to see that we can substitute something with nothing. And if we imagine how we can eliminate the chemistry for killing bacteria in our water, and we can simply use the laws of physics and enjoy the vortex, then we will realize that not only, then we realize we don't have to say, oh, the past was bad. No, 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 no. We don't have to point fingers to anyone. We can only have to we can only say we can do so much better in the future.